The first is that the mind cannot conceive or mathematically measure the source of the whole bewildering and dark plot, and that plot fits the whole universe. The second law resides in expansive darkness, which is the true nature of light, of the inexplicable, and is transformed into light. The third law is the need for light to become a matter of light. The fourth law is there is no beginning or end. The three previous laws always take place, and creation is eternal. In the hostility to the theory of relativity, you go so far that you hold lectures against its creator at your birthday parties. Remember, space is not curved, but the human mind that cannot comprehend infinity and eternity. If relativity has been clearly understood by its creator, he would gain immorality even physically, if it pleases him. I am a part of light, and it is music. Light fills my six senses. I see, hear, feel, smell, touch, and think. Thinking about it is my sixth sense. Light particles are written notes. Lightning can be an entire sonata. Thousand lightning balls are a concert. For this concert, I created a ball of lightning that can be heard on the frozen peaks of the Himalayas. About Pythagoras and mathematics, a scientist cannot and should not infringe on these two. Numbers and equations are signs that mark the music of spheres. If Einstein had heard these sounds, he would not have created theory of relativity. These sounds are messages directed to the mind about which life has a meaning.